Hello all, I am Radeshri Raja and today I have the pleasant honor of interviewing Mr. Augustus Zaria Sir. Sir is the Director of Asia Pacific, Middle East, India and Africa Region, Kendral and IBM Spinoff Organization. Sir, uh, moving on with the first question. Uh, given your astounding 20 years of experience, what radical changes has the HR totally gone through which weren't in practice the last few years? Well, there have been a lot and to name a few, uh, in the last decade at least, you know, there has been an accelerated move towards digital uh, work, towards a digital workplace, alright, and what I mean by this is that, you know, everything that we had earlier on, let's say from an attendance management system to performance management and all of that which was done on a brick and mortar basis is today completely digital and the data that we have been able to get out of that all right we are able to derive what i call actionable insights okay into it for example let's say we are doing a performance assessment for a person and then that discussion gets thrown back into a data engine and then it says okay here are the skill gaps for you here and here are the skill gaps and opportunities for you externally all right so you go take this data out distill it on the web compare it with a few other companies and feed it back into your organization for you to be agile and relevant so digital is the greatest game changer here. Thanks. Uh, next question would be uh, how do you plan on revolutionizing the HR spectrum and what new ideas do you think could be implemented in the company's Yeah, see the first thing here is to continue to believe and clearly have people as the core of your business right and respect them for being the core of your business and the way you have to do it is have a set of programs policies that are transparent build a culture build a culture of transparency build a culture of inclusiveness build a culture of diversity okay these are the fulcrums on which organizations of the future will stand and undergirding all this is ethics and integrity Thank you. That was wonderful. Uh, I would like to question one more thing. Uh, having served in various important leadership positions, what kind of a life path would you recommend for someone to reach a high position such as yours? Uh, one is of course have an open mind. You should have the ability to take risks. You should network and improve your own visibility, build your social eminence and of course have a good understanding of the business. Okay, So take a tour of the business, not just within your function. Go out and see what is happening on the shop floor. If there is an opportunity that you can take on, go ahead and take that on. So it's about business knowledge right that will help you become a successful person needless to say your network visibility and social eminence play a very important role and to add to it lastly it's about your personal brand you've got to build your personal brand um, one last question uh, would be so you attended the hr conclave 2.0 so what is your opinion on the event itself and what do you think of uh, our college the Kripana, the institutions and what small piece of advice would you recommend of this to the outgoing treasures yeah. the job seekers have the uh, first thing is uh, it opens the mind of the student right to what is there in that world out there you know uh, and some of you might look up at it glamorously some may say hey what is this big uh, uh, layoffs and things like that happening and therefore there could be some level of insecurity so i think it's about moving ahead of it and saying that look businesses will go through these blips they will go through restructuring that's all part of a business life cycle Okay, but we have to continue to build organization, build organizations that are learning organizations because they will sustain themselves. And uh, coming back to your, uh, and with that I'm saying your college has done the right thing to bring in the industry uh, academia uh, partnership, but it shouldn't end with one day seminar. You need to bring in endowments, you need to have a, a lab, you need to have uh, a place where your business problems are put in there and you are able 
able to solution that okay you need to come up with something like that okay only then you really have bitten into what the challenges are you know and that's where i think you should be and uh, lastly i think you have a good set of leaders out here faculty as well as your management team some of them i heard your vice chairman and uh, the the institution definitely is on the right trajectory and when i heard your vice chairman talk with such humility i think that is a basic foundation from where you build great leadership so i think you're in a fantastic institution and i wish you all the best thanks Thank for having you so me much. Thank you. welcome